Gospel of June the 6, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples, and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he has, had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you, and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying what kind by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are invited into the love of God. A faithful love, always, forever, eternal. And we see this scene in which Simon Peter is before the Lord, that it will be very helpful for us to remember that just hours before the Passion began in Gethsemane, the Lord t told them to his disciples, where I'm going, you cannot follow me now. And Simon Peter was distressed too, and he said, I want to follow you, Lord. Why can I go with you now? Again, the Lord speaks to Simon and says, you cannot follow me now, you will follow me later. And again, he insists, Peter insists and says, I would put up my life for you, my Lord. And Jesus then turns to him and said, Peter, before the crowd sings twice to, tonight, you will have denied me three times. And so it happens. And so it happened. So three times he denied him. Three times Peter denied the Lord. And now the Lord is affirming his love three times by asking the question. But it is very important that we understand the words. Unfortunately, in English, we only, one, we only have one word for love. Whereas in Greek, which is the original, there are many words for love. I will try to explain the exact dialogue that happened. Because the Lord asked him, do you love me more than this? But the verb that the Lord used is agape. Agape means a love that's so deep that donates. It's an oblative love. It's the love that suffers for another one. And Simon answers him, filet, which means a love of friendship, a brotherly love, but not to the degree of agape. Once he gets the answer, the Lord tells him, feed my lambs. He is reaffirming his love, notwithstanding Peter's denial. And again he asks him, Simon, do you love me? The first question was, do you love me more than this? Now it, it, he is only asking, Agape, do you have this love, this deep love for me? And Peter answers again with the same answer. I love you as a brother. It's not enough. It's not enough. 
Yet he insists, tend my ship. And on the third time, he lowers his expectation. Do you have love like brother for me? And Peter is distressed by that time. And he says, Lord, you know everything. You know my heart. You know I love you. And again, the Lord confirms his love. Feed my ship. It is not enough to just want Lord. It is necessary to love Him deeply and with all your heart. But that love does not come out of your will or your intelligence or your sentiments, your feelings. No, it's much deeper than that. You have to put up your whole self and then, once you have put it up, you have to ask the help of the love of God. For, for, for Peter was lacking the strength of God to love. He was lacking the Holy Spirit that he received in plenitude on the feast that we will be celebrating the day after tomorrow on Sunday, on Pentecost. At the pouring of the Holy Spirit, his heart, Peter's heart became inflamed with God's love. And that's exactly what we have to ask for this coming Sunday. It is also a requisite even to follow Jesus Christ, to love Him deeply. And it is so important that it is given to us when we are baptized. Love is always given in plenitude. It cannot be given in degrees, yet the one who receives it will receive it gradually depending on the openness that he himself or herself is at. If I am too close, I will receive the grace of the Lord just a little bit. But if I concede and I open my heart entirely, I will be able to receive the whole evermore of God. How will I know? Because of my actions, because of your actions. No one can say that he has received the, God, the love of God, that is the Holy Spirit in plenitude, if he does not produce good fruits, the fruits of God. One of them is obedience. And you can see how the Lord tells Simon, when you were John, you used to dress yourself and go wherever you wanted. But when you grow, you grow older, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. It is not the project of our lives. It is the project of the life that God wishes us, you and me, to live. And believe me, as wildest as we can have the imagination, as highest as we can have the desires, there are nothing, your imagination or mine, compared to what God wants us for good. Let yourself go. If you, especially you, if you ask, if you feel that you're being asked by God to lend yourself further, do not be afraid. Look for the church. Look for a priest. Tell him, I want to follow Jesus. How do I do it? Teach me. Lead me. It is the greatest adventure that you can have. It is the most happiest ever in the world. There is nothing more. A life of true adventure. A life of happiness. Yes, with sorrow and sadness in this world. But we can be certain that with immense plenitude of happiness before the Lord when we get to heaven. Dear brothers, today we have to enter the mystery of love. Prepare yourself to ask again, all the time, not only for you, but for all our brothers who are baptized, but, and for all the children of God, for the Holy Spirit. God bless you all, brothers.